Facebook. How is everybody doing, honey? Feeling good today. I got me a, a rub down yesterday. You know, I got rubbed down by the Asians. An Asian lady yesterday, you know, I made a post about that. I said, you know, I got up full body massage by an Asian lady yesterday. And it, I swear to God, I, I get a wild hair up my ass sometimes and I get adventures, but I adventured my little ass to this place. And I swear for Lord, I was laying there thinking, this is how people get caught up in the sex trade. And it's another motherfucker that come in this room at any point and zip tie my damn hands and sell my fucking organs. Because I know I got good organs. You know, they always want just the black organs anyway. But girl, I got to, oh, I was a little paranoid in there. And then the way she got the rubbing on me and stuff, my, you know, my towel was right here. It hit me right here. You know, and then she kind of exposed my ass up on the table. I was like, okay. Then she was rubbing and rubbed over it. And I was like, okay, let me just get the towel to come back up here. I said, from here up is fine. Girl, because you, I don't need you come, oof. Anyway, but it was, it was decent overall. You know, it was, it was okay. I just, the chinks, honey, the chinks. You got to wash their asses because they, they're white supremacists too. But anyway, guys, okay. Ooh. Why are the conscious chicks winning? Yeah, it's the conscious chicks are winning right now. And I'm gonna tell y'all why you've heard the word conscious. You've heard the conscious community. Okay, we've heard that before, right? But I'm gonna tell you why conscious chicks are winning. And consciousness is winning. But as it relates to how it makes you so much more attractive to just have knowledge of your goddamn self. That shit is sexy as hell, ain't it? Conscious chicks, this year, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. It's it's the year for the conscious chicks. And that's why I'm saying, girl, go get your man, honey. Those of y'all that know that it's about embracing your culture and you see the beauty in yourself and you see the beauty in your nappy ass hair and you see that this is actually antennas. It defies the laws of gravity. When you embody that, it's a lot that comes with it. Tomorrow is Kwanzaa, baby. And I just feel like I just want to get crunk for no motherfucking reason just because it's Kwanzaa. You know what I mean? I got my red on. I said, let me get my little, my little titties out. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Hey, hey. You know Atlanta. And it's kind of crunk right now, too. And 26, 27, 28, 29, I got some crazy shit popping off. I got some amazing collaborations going on that I'm not even going to tell y'all about. Okay, but this is why conscious chicks are winning because y'all not boring as shit. We done woke up. It's not cute no more to still be taking cues from white supremacy, i.e. your culture, religion, your I, your belief systems and shit. It's just not cool to not know about hidden colors no more. It's not cool not to know about the Haitian Revolution no more. It's not cool not to know, you know, what a coon is. You know what coons are nowadays, don't you? It's not cool to be that no more, to speak against black women and say something slick out the side of your throat about black men. That's like, uh-uh. See, the black brothers know we not checking for y'all angry black feminists, so they done peeped all that game. We all are exposed. The angry black feminists that's got utter vitriol and hate for black men, y'all exposed. The black feminazis, as we call them, y'all exposed. Ain't nobody checking for y'all. Most, if not all, are single. So that's a segment of the black sisterhood that y'all are losing in love. So who are the ones that's winning? Because we know the church chick's not winning. I already did the damn video about how they motherfucking lame asses, no game having asses, bodies built like refrigerator Perry and one need to buy them asses. You know, they losing. They don't have intuition, nor the Holy Ghost to tell them who a moist motherfucker, a moist minister, or a damn dick taking deacon. They don't know which way is up in the church. So, and we've been stopped checking for them since the 80s. Ain't nobody checking for church chicks no more. Because you sitting up under the likes of damn Joel Osteen, you stupid as hell if you go to a mega church right now. A church that has historically taken $420 billion in ties out of the black community and has not built up the black community. You look at stupid right now if you still even like support anything near that. And again, the ideology, if you don't realize that A, the Haitian Revolution and Voodoo, if you still say, if you one of those black women that's saying Voodoo is evil, ooh, you get you late. 
You like you look stupid when on that episode of Married to Medicine, that white dude that owned the voodoo shop told you that this was a religion that the slaves practiced that allowed them to defeat their oppressor. Now you sound like some old newfangled brainwashed coon if you can't even get behind that. You don't see your you don't see nothing in that. See you looking stupid now. This is why conscious chicks are women. Who the fuck wanna deal with a black a self hating black person? That shit's just not even attractive anymore. Seriously, it's not even attractive anymore. So you walking around as the walking dead, you the walking dead, and nobody's checking for your tired ass, low vibrational pussy at all. Cause you don't even love who you are. You don't even love your cancer. You don't, you can't love black men. You don't know what to love about black men because I mean, usually you're following along some ideology and prepackaged propaganda about the black man, about black people. So you're going to fall into one of those categories. You're either pro-black people and know that the black family is the only way to go, or you're a Negro bed wench, or you're a slave plantation mammy, body built like a damn plantation mammy ass coon, or I mean, which one are you? So that's why I say on the top of the hierarchy are the conscious. This is why the other reason why conscious chicks are winning. Conscious chicks, unlike church chicks, understand that you can't put everything in your goddamn body and still expect to be healthy and expect to be alive. The church is the only place still in our black population that it is okay to be fat and to eat anything you want without any accountability. So for those of you guys, congrats to you that have come up from that. You now are just that more attractive because you're not around the fuck shit. And you realize, hey, vegan is all right. Hey, you know what? Putting animals that are like tortured and murdered in my body, that has something to do with my body. You, you're out of this game of, oh, I'm just going to bread my food and expect not to get fibroids and shit and cancer. You, you woke up from that. So your body's going to be looking a lot better. Conscious chicks are winning because they believe in doing squats. Conscious chicks are winning because they're breastfeeding their motherfucking kids. Conscious chicks are winning because they're taking their ass up out of the goddamn hospitals and not know, and knowing that putting all the hormones, all the birth control in your body is going to have you with a goddamn fat back and your body's going to be built like a motherfucking chicken nugget. That's why conscious chicks are winning. They know that the white man in the white hospitals have been historically practicing and using us as guinea pigs so they know not to even put their body and subject themselves to it. Does this not start to make sense for you? My conscious chicks are winning. They like, fuck that shit. Hell, before I take a um a, a prescription pill from a damn doctor or get some damn cancer treatment, what they gonna do? I'd rather smoke a, I'd rather smoke a blunt. That's why they win and shit. That's why they winning. Cause they know to think alternative, think outside the damn box. That's why conscious chicks are winning. Girl, go get your man. Forget your little lame ass church up sister friends honey that ain't doing a goddamn thing okay that want to go to africa get with them get with the people that know how to eat get with the people that's talking about detoxing their bodies get with those people this is why this is why they on top they didn't stop pressuring a man about getting up every sunday going to some goddamn pork chop eating past the church honey go play golf i'd rather label the nigga that's wanting to play golf on sunday then it goes sit up in a goddamn pastor's church. I hope y'all peeping game. The nigga that wants to play golf on Sundays, fuck with him. Do not fuck with the nigga that's got to get up and go to church on Sundays. I don't care if I lose half of y'all because of this. I'm really trying to tell you who to, to get with the really awakened people, sisters. That's why the country chicks is winning because they not on that. Well, you got to be saved, sanctified, and you got to be, you know, blood under the blood of Jesus to talk to me. <laughs> Bitch. They were laughing out the road. I wish, I wish somebody would say that as they damn, you know, what, what makes them better than the average single black woman because I'm saved and I'm, I'm filled with the blood of Jesus. You know how stupid you sound like? I mean, I'm sorry. You sound stupid. And you ask them, do you realize, what, what did the African practice prior to slavery? With their damn perm and shellac wigs. Ask they... Plantation, mammy built asses. What did the African practice prior to colonialism in Africa? So yeah, you look stupid now. Just saying, I believe in Jesus because I just believe. I just, I feel in my heart. I feel in my soul. I feel, I feel, I feel. 
I wish, I promise to God, every time I was online dating, boy, online dating is the bomb for all of the goofies that have no idea how to use it. I don't want to talk about that with y'all right now. We hadn't even reached the time and place where we can really talk about how amazing fucking online dating is, okay? All of the amazing men in my life I got from online, moving right along. But when I was online, anytime a nigga said God fearing, ant eh, wrong. Anytime I saw one scripture in that headline or profile, ant eh, wrong. Nope. Leading the scriptures, the child. <sighs> That's how you're getting slept on out here. And again, it's not like these people are fly as hell. They're never fly. People that talk like that are usually weird as fuck. We know it now. We know it now. We know it now, okay? Because now it's about who knows their goddamn African. That's the standard. Thank you, Marcus Garvey, because see, that's the standard. That's the standard. And even if you Christian, even if you Muslim, whatever the fuck it is, do you know the code of blackness? That is the standard. That's sexy as hell. Do you know not to trust these white people out here? Do you not know that we're the most genetically superior race people? Do you not know we created all this shit? If you don't know that, you're not in the know. You're not in the know anymore. So this is why, and I'm, I'm still giving y'all this damn bikini, honey. I'm going to tell you something. Conscious Chicks is winning again because it takes a deep old weirdo to start really taking care of their body inside and out. Okay, you can't sit up there and eat all the goddamn hormones and all the milk, all the pus, all the acid and expect that shit not to get on you and to get inside of you. Have you seen these goddamn meat processing plants? Have you seen the way they do these animals? And you think that's no connection and you see people that's weird and goofy enough to think deep like that. I don't know. We may have some abs and we may have some untampered with uteruses out here that still work at 39, 49 and can still pop out babies and not be nervous when we get pregnant because you're not going to be able to carry that baby. I know what's happening to your bodies. You're not even able to carry the baby. When the average black woman, especially these damn churched up fat ones, get pregnant, I get very nervous for them because I'm like, Lord have mercy. Now our odds of even being able to carry the pregnancy are low. You know what I'm talking about. We miscarry and God damn it. We miscarry. We can't even we can't even have a damn baby. So no, I get nervous for their asses because all the estrogen in their body is just pushing that baby out. It's saying, I'm already pregnant. Don't get pregnant. Don't get pregnant. You've already put so much steroids and estrogen in your body through birth control and all of that shit is programming your body to say, I'm not pregnant, right? So when you finally get pregnant, what does it do? It tells your body, I'm not pregnant and it kills that damn fetus. I've seen it happen dozens of times. And so for all the weirdos that know birth control is goddamn Satan, birth control, steroids, meats, bitch, ain't a, ain't a goddamn amount of money you could pay me to put any of that shit in my body. I love feeling good. I love my pussy smelling good. I love having my body function and being able to run. Can you goddamn run? Does your body even still work? That's what I'm talking about. Look into the way your body functions. Are you able to just boom, just crank out, crank out some damn, you know, some exercises and shit? God, it's just like we sorry sex of potatoes and sorry sex of shit around here. This is why conscious chicks are winning because they doing some goddamn warrior poses. We doing warrior poses on their ass. I'm doing poses all day long. All day long. Let me get y'all into that. All day long. Posing. Pose. 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 All day long. I don't have time. Talking about Jesus is the reason for the season. Yeah. 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 How much cardio did you just burn doing that? None. So yeah, kind of chips, go get your man, girl. Anybody got time? Eat your motherfucking kale. Do your skin detox. Where my shit at? Hmm. <laughs> Laying up in here with that manna butter. Woo! From House of I ain't gonna tell. Honey, I will plug you until forever because I literally had little spots on my back. And it was discoloration on my back. And this motherfucking shit to start clearing my shit up, okay? Herbs in the goddamn manna butter. I don't have time. That's why Conscious Chicks is winning. 
We ain't got time for nothing else. Why they still out there using Dove and shit and all of the fucking chemicals, all of the goddamn perfumes and dyes and soaps getting into your bloodstream. They setting you up, baby. And, and just seriously, if you guys are putting on anything, understand that your skin is the largest organ. It soaks up everything. And if you're putting on perfume and you're putting it right here, my mom used to tell me, don't be putting on perfume right here and right here. It goes directly into your bloodstream. If it ain't fruit, don't put it on your skin, baby. It don't need to be absorbed. Even Queen of Food told you about that, how we have the most toxic blood because of all of the chemicals and beauty products and um, toiletries that we think we use and, and making ourselves pretty, and it's just absorbing into your blood stream, and it's the most toxic shit you can ever think about. Turn the bottle around and look at these ingredients for your little perfume wearers. Put it on the damn clothing items. Don't put it directly on your skin, okay? I feel like I need to say that because I see women breaking out. They've got all types of um, inflammation diseases, fibroids, PCOS, all cancer, all these things. And we have no idea why we're just, we're soaking in so many poisonous, you know, materials. And we don't know where they're coming from. This is another reason why detox is important from the inside out. Skin detox, y'all. This is why our weird ass conscious chicks is winning. Because who the fuck want to lay up with somebody that don't know how to take care of their shit? Seriously. Who don't, who wants to be have a baby with a woman who she already looking like she one cheeseburger away from that threshold from thick to fat. She already sit on that threshold. You know, the ass and the waist ratio is already a little shaky. In the jeans, she cute. Her ass is cute in the jeans. When she take off them goddamn jeans, that ass go north, south, east, and west. Okay, who want to lay up with a woman who body all out of control like that? And ain't that much love in the world going to make no man still attracted to a woman who let her body go, who body can't function properly, whose body is acidic, whose body is full of tumors and cysts and lupus and sickness, all types of shit, y'all. This is why conscious chicks are winning because we understand that our health is wealth. We understand that it's big business to keep us stupid. To keep us sick and stupid, that's big business for Big Pharma. So that's why Conscious Chicks are winning. Girl, go get your man. Honey, Conscious Chicks understand it's about building wealth. Conscious Chicks understand not to be upset at the black man and to argue with the black man. They understand that we need the black man, honey. That's why we win. We ain't them feminazis, are we? Hello. We on code. We date on code. White what? No. Swirling against it. Don't want it. Don't need it. We ready to build black empires, rebuild societies, and have these beautiful black babies. That's why conscious chicks are winning, girl. Go get your man. They waiting on you. You know not to look down on a brother just because he drive for Uber or something like that. You see, he's off the corporate plantation. He actually can move when he needs to move. He's an entrepreneur. He has time. Time is the greatest asset. You know, girl, I've been broke this whole thing down for you. That's why country chicks are winning because they see things in a way the average person does not see them. They can have a gift of perception deeper than the average person. Am I just flashing the shit out of y'all right now? I ain't trying to be sick, but I am feeling myself. I got a little red nail. My little feet got the eh, eh, eh. Conscious chicks are winning. Uh-uh. Cause we sinning. Ah, conscious chicks are winning. Hey, because we sinning. The conscious chicks are winning. Somebody make that beat for me. I'll, I'll pay you for it. But anyway... Conscious chicks, go get your man, girl. You already on top because you're not believing no slave plantation think. You're not talking slave speech, slave babble, nigga babble. You have woken up and you realize you're going to take care of your body, okay? Health as well. Get on top, girl. Go get your man. They're looking for you. They're not looking for the church chicks no more. I'm telling you. Lock your shit up. Get your, dredge your shit up. Get you a nice little nappy fro. They loving it. And all of the men, the real conscious men and those kings, those brothers, get your spirit right. Don't be like those feminizers and those church women that don't think they need to take accountability for shit. Soak up some game. Invest in your body. Invest in self-development. If you want to holler at me and be like, look here, Art, I'm 30, 40, whatever. I need to get my shit back in the game. I'm ready to get my man, honey. And I know I ain't one of these little goofy super coons out here. I want the black man. Honey, hit me up because you already know I'm heavy men in my database. Five to one. And we need to see what the damn ancestors say about your ass too. But if you're really ready to do some work, 2018 and you conscious and you just realizing that it ain't about what all these other goofy people doing and these regular institutions 
You want to jump out? Girl, it's time. The portal's open, baby. Go get your man, country woman. I believe in y'all. I see y'all. It's our time, girl. All of the church chicks, they are, they're in the hospital anyway, okay? They body's not working. Nobody's checking for their bodies no way, okay? They think that they can eat anything and just pray over it in Jesus' name and not get fibroids and not get cancer and not have diabetes and not have high blood pressure. So we know that's unconscious to think and act like that. So the conscious women that are really ready to take action, be accountable, detox their bodies, mind, body, spirit, baby. Let's go get it. That's why the conscious chicks are winning. Hey, because we sinning. The conscious chicks are winning. Hey, because we sinning. Yeah, they call sinning everything. Running on Sunday morning. You know, doing anything on Sunday. You sin. Oh, my God, you sinning. Oh, you have a drink of wine. Oh, Lord, I don't drink wine. But, you know, do what you need to do, girl. If you suck your man's dick, oh, Lord, please suck your man's dick. We need to have a national suck a black man's dick day. See, I don't have conscious woman to tell you something like that because we have really gotten off. We, we're so out of order and we're going to be, it's going to be a long time before we even realize that that's something that we need to do, okay? I'm not talking to y'all broken, fucked over women that's traumatized still and that think, what well, a natural sucker black man dick that you haven't reached that level where you absolutely love everything about black men and you do desire for all of them to have some really bomb ass head. It's only three types of women anyway as far as blowjobs are concerned and I've said this in the past on blogs. I said that there's one that, as far as blowjobs are concerned, she's like, oh, nope, where you're not. It's the other one that's like, maybe I'll give you some hair for your birthday or anniversary. And then it's broads like me that want to wake up with a dick in her mouth, okay? So it's only three types of people. And so which one would you want to get hair from, right? And it's the same with men. You have little pussy doctors. You have men that's like, okay, it's your birthday. And you have men that's like, oh, hell no. Which one would you want to get here from, okay? So, sinning, that's what I mean. You can't talk like that. Women that don't talk like this and can't talk like this, you're losing, okay? Women that have no game, no mouthpiece, no type of, you know, conversation of rude nation, no type of personality. You can't even get outside the box to have a healthy conversation about sex. Nothing about you exudes that you even know what the fuck you doing in the damn bedroom. But yet, it's still a nigga need to climb on your damn emotional walls, get over your nasty looking bad built body and your masculine energy just to never get head and have basic mediocre sex. You're lying to yourself. So if you're not one of them women and you know that it's time out for dumb shit like that and thinking shit like that and you want to go ahead and position your Yourself for amazing black men and be in harmony with your kinsmen, hit us up in the womb school, girl, because that's why the conscious chicks are winning. Okay, girl, go get your man. Ain't, ain't nobody got time to be trying to figure all this shit out by yourself. Let them independent broke bitches and, and being mad at the black men, let them do that shit by themselves. Okay, honey, we finna go to the fucking gym. We finna get our shit right. We finna get on some triathlons. Go to the triathlons, honey. Go to the golf course, honey. Go to where the men that are taking care of their bodies are. That's why the Beckys are coming down and swooping down on them because y'all black asses is not out there. What you gonna do? Okay? I'm gonna have a lot of women doing some mountain treks with me this spring. We're getting bikini ready this summer. We got serious shit going on and some people I've partnered up with. You're not gonna even believe me if I told you. So anyway, that's why I'm on one today and that's why I'm telling you that's why the conscious chicks are winning because we sin it. Okay? Have a wonderful, wonderful holiday. Tomorrow is Kwanzaa and I'm hoping y'all are ooh, getting ready. Hey! Get ready for Kwanzaa. Uh, uh, I get ready for quads. Uh, uh. Ooh, maybe I'll give y'all a little, a little nice little preview. I don't know. Oh, shit. Oh, bitch. 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 Oh, bitch. 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 See, that's what you got to do with. Do Feel yourself in a goddamn room by yourself. You know what I'm saying? Just get, give a little bit. Not too much. Oh, oh, not too much. Okay, let me get the fuck on out of here. Love y'all.